All right, so a lot of people complain about EVs in the winter, so I wanted to see what we can change just because I can never leave anything alone. So I bought a Chinese diesel heater off of Amazon. It was 300 bucks. I plumbed it in to the factory line that goes, this is the factory line that went, right here. This one went into there. So we took that off and put my intake for my diesel heater where it was, the outtake goes to this water pump that you have to have for this model. And it pumps the water down to the factory pump down there somewhere. I don't really know where, but it's down there. Then it comes back up here into the factory heater box and then into the car. Um, we had to make a bracket for here. Not too hard if you're handy, I'm not, but my friends are. So I made a bracket for that to hold the tank. Tank I also got on like eBay for $12 or some shit. Um, bracket for the heater, which comes again. I have a friend do it because I'm not smart enough. The only wiring in the car is this 12 volt line that we just connected directly to the battery so that I could leave it on if the car was off, like if we're not running errands, we just leave it on. Um, we drove to Detroit over the weekend and lost zero range. It's like 300 miles, it was freezing out. We lost zero range due to the cold, and we stayed. I would say the temperature stayed more solid inside than it ever has. So for $300, I'm a happy camper. Enjoy. Here's a time lapse I was driving. The top row is the cabin heat. Um, the top left is supposed to be the coolant temp sensor. It's broken, it says. I don't know if it ever worked or if I broke it with the going too high. The uh, diesel heater controller down there on the left with the red lights is set to stay at 70, but it goes from like 50 to 90. So I'm not really sure... Um, I'll have to wait for somebody to figure out how to actually control that correctly so I can hopefully set it up to 70, but I'm happy. It works great. If you guys have any questions, just ask.